Hi there cowboys and cowgirls. It's hot and dusty outside and I need me some tired old queen at the movies. Come on now, let's saddle up and get on. Tired old queen at the movies. Ooh, Johnny. Come on in, old paint. Ooh, Johnny, you know what we hadn't done in a long time? A western. So I decided to do my very favorite western of all time, 1951's Westward the Women, directed by William Wellman and starring Robert Taylor, Denise Darcel, Julie Bishop, Hope Emerson, and Henry Nakamura. Now, this was based on a short story by Frank Capra, and he originally wanted to film it himself with Gary Cooper, but things fell through and it went into William, William Wellman's hands. William Wellman was one of the big action directors in Hollywood. He, in World War I, had flown with the Lafayette Escadrille. He was a top fighter pilot. He was always fascinated by flying stories. In fact, we did one of his films, The High and the Mighty and Tired Old Queen at the Movies. Oh, Johnny, I wanted to do an adventure movie. So I chose John Wayne in The High and the Mighty from 1954. He took this movie company on location in Utah, in the Mojave Desert, and they shot this film. Now, essentially what this is, it's a story of a wagon train full of women who go west to meet husbands. They, Robert Taylor has led wagon trains across the country, and he gets hired by John McIntyre, uh, who has a big, beautiful settlement in California, and it's all men, and they need wives. There's only two things in this world that scares me, and a good woman's both. So he takes a picture of all of them and they go back to St. Louis and they put an ad in the paper and all these women show up. These women are amazing. Look out, watch it. I'm sorry. You mean you're sorry you missed me, you dirty little no good. Wellman broke the Hollywood code and cast relative unknowns in big parts in this movie. Denise Darcel was a French actress who came over after the war. She was really sexy and very, very French. We want a change. Of what? Of scenery. Julie Bishop had done a lot of movies at Warner Brothers, but never really had too big a part. Hope Emerson had just come off doing Caged, where she got an Academy Award nomination for playing the great big evil prison matron. She'd also done a really funny bit in Adam's Rib. Well, in this one, she plays Patience Holly, who's a New England widow. Her husband was a sea captain, and her three sons, they all went down off the Cape, off Cape Horn. So she's going out, and she's going out to meet herself you know, a husband. And when they interview him, she comes up and she's enormous. Hope Emerson was like six foot four and she weighed like 250 pounds. She was huge. And she comes up and she says, But I figured it was time to scrape my hull and weigh anchor. And I can shoot a gun. But uh, I can carry my own tonnage. She's hysterically funny. And every time that they do something, she'll say, Smoke and oakum. Smoke and oakum. What are you waiting for? There they are. She's just the best. There's the Italian widow with her little boy who's like eight years old, Renata Vanni, a lovely, lovely actress who speaks nothing but Italian, and they're going to, to California to meet the husband. Questo è Polly Moroni. Polly, Tony, and Mama. And then there's Beverly Dennis who plays the, the school teacher who's pregnant and unmarried and she's going out to give her baby a name. Each one of these stories has a full rounded story within the context. Robert Taylor is tough in this movie and he says to these girls right off the, the bat. One out of every three of you will be dead before you get to his California Valley. So if you're smart, you'll leave by that door. And none of them leave. Then he says to them, okay, all right, so you want, you want to do it? Well, you're going to get it. Who can drive mules? Now, I don't mean ride a horse. I mean drive a pack of meany, ornery mules. Well, this one woman stands up, Maggie O'Malley. She's got glasses. Lenore Lonergan. She used to do a lot of Broadway. Wonderful actress. And Marilyn Erskine, who's this Jean, who plays Jean, short little girl. Then they stand up. And a couple others. And they sit down. He goes, all right. Who can shoot? And I don't mean just shoot, I mean shoot and hit what you're looking at. Again, those two stand up and Lenore Lonergan takes her glasses and she takes this gun and she points it up at this poster, this guy, and she, and she shoots his left eye out. She goes, she throws it over to Gene, Gene picks it up and goes, shoots his right eye out. They bit it and they throw it up to Robert Taylor. Is that what you meant? 
He goes, yeah, that's what I meant. So they got two people. These two women are in charge of teaching them how to drive the mules and shoot the guns. <laughs> And they start on this trip, and one thing happens after another, and they encounter really horrific things, and they get tough. Take it easy, Sherry. Take it easy. You can only do so much. Don't let him get you off. I'll up. keep your mouth shut up. And about midway through the trip, they lose all their men, and they have to go the rest of the trip alone. This movie has so much heart. And he, Wellman took these actors, and he hated actors. <laughs> Wellman was really hard on actors. And he took them out on location, and he made them do all their own stunts and drive these mules. And it was an incredible, incredible shoot. And they got amazing performances from, from these women. Um, you, you laugh with them, it's funny, it's, it's sad. It's um, it's exciting. It, sometimes it's really, really scary what they go through. And it's one thing right after another. They never cut a break. <laughs> you are gonna love Robert Taylor, Denise Darcel, Hope Emerson, Renata Vani, Henry Nakamura, Lenore Lonergood, Julie Bishop, and William Wellman's incredible ode to the Old West, Westward the Women. Yeah! Let's all go to the lobby. No, I already did that for the last one. Oh well, anyway. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat.